Hey, man. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Happy holidays. Hey, how's it going? I fear. I feel cheerful. Why? I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, man. Hey, what's up? Have you ever heard of Santa? No, oh, this is a good one. We already did the episode about him, though. No, we did. Oh. Yeah, remember how he's red and has <laughs> horns with a little weird tail? Yeah, we did Satan, took a break, and then did Santa. We did Satan, mice, and Santa. You're telling me they're that's, different. That's the, <laughs> that's the really what Christmas is all about. Satan, Satan mice, mice, and, and Santa. Santa. <laughs> you know, the three wise men. <laughs> Okay, so Santa, Santa, old you, Saint Nick. Oh, so you've heard of him? <laughs> I've heard the tales. Uh, uh, disclaimer: If you're listening to this episode with your kids, uh, stop. Uh, <laughs> just like the disclaimer from the San Satan episode. That oh we never gave. yeah! If you're no. listening with your kids, stop. Uh, <laughs> if you're listening to our podcast with your kids in general. <laughs> Chill out on that. You know, if you don't want your kids to know the dark side of Santa Claus, <laughs> then they should get out of here. pretty accurate. Hey, I'm glad you made that disclaimer. Yeah, um, me too because some people would be pretty upset if you're an adult. <laughs> hey, uh, real if quick, you were, let's have a conversation real quick. Yeah, a conversation with Tillin. Uh, I'll never forget. I was at a table a just like this talk. one. I was at a table very similar to this one when someone told you the truth. Yeah, I sat down. It was I I, I it was very similar to when I was found out my name wasn't TJ. Um, came home from school. My I don't parents remember were sitting at the table, out. and they were like, "TJ, you need to sit down." Your and parents said, sat down with was, you. Yeah, and they're like, "Sit down. We need to have a talk." And I was like, <laughs> "And I was like, I was like, I know my name's not TJ." And they were like, "No, it's not about that, TJ." <laughs> <laughs> like this is about Satan, Santa. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, well, here, here's the deal. Uh, if you're watching this, is this still you being your adult, parents? No. Oh, okay. If you're watching this and you're an adult, <laughs> or if you're listening to this and you're an adult, I have some sad news that we need to get out of the way from the front. Mm -hmm. uh, the Santa that you know and love is a byproduct of Coca Cola. He was a marketing tool <laughs> that they used in the 50s and 60s to sell more Coca Cola. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your life. Yeah, he's not. Uh, the presence uh, your dad worked really hard for, or your mom. Wow, really hard yeah, I'm really glad that you went the your, sexist your route there. Your dad or your dude. mom worked really hard for them. You know, you get canceled or for that. This guy from your church, or uh, some other couple from your church. Oh, okay. Uh, There's like a family really, donating really, really gifts. Somebody worked the route really, really I thought hard you were for going gifts. was like your dad worked hard for the or your mom or some guy from your church, <laughs> and it's just like, all right, hold on. <laughs> like, <laughs> like some it was guy a different from your guy church every year, but you was know. sending gifts to your family. <laughs> And being like, listen, Deborah, you need a man who can provide <laughs> gifts for your kids and give credit to Santa. <laughs> These are from and Santa. Is humble enough to give credit to Santa. <laughs> Santa would like to take you out. Why do you think your mom loved that song, Santa Baby? Uh, Santa Baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway. Anyways, now that that's out of the way. <laughs> uh, so Santa, uh, he's got an origin story. Um, yeah, he does. And there's probably bits and pieces. Every of it. villain does. <laughs> there's bits and pieces of it. You've probably heard of before. Yeah, um, but honestly, even looking digging into this, there's a lot that I never heard and there's a lot that I'm like, oh, well, that's how that just kind of turned into Morphed. what it became. Sure, uh, just like Satan. Uh, so this is actually gonna be very similar to the Satan episode. Perfect. Um, so I guess we should begin really putting your degree to work. Yeah, yeah, I guess we should begin with Santa in the Old Testament. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Where do you start? I think the best place to start is Saint Nick. Uh, okay. So 
Uh, if you don't know the story of Saint Nick, Saint Nick was a dude in the fourth century, uh, and he was. Uh, that's, a, that's way longer ago than I thought. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, in was, what part of the world? Myra, North Carolina. <laughs> Fourth century <laughs> North Carolina. You know. <laughs> in the year three hundred eighty three. Uh, Myrtle okay. Beach. Uh, no, he was he was born in uh, or he lived in Myra, which is modern day uh, Demre. Uh, that if you know where that is, but it's a town in okay. in Greece uh, okay. in the fourth century. Um, he was born to parents who. Uh, had prayed for a long time for a child because they couldn't have kids um, mm. and they ended up having him. So he's like this real miracle baby. Yeah. Uh, they both actually died shortly after his birth of totally unrelated reasons. Uh, and so he uh, became an orphan and mm. uh, was raised under one of the local priests. Um, and the priest talks about it. He's like, he's like, it really was. I don't, I don't have an explanation for how it happened, but he was just a great kid. Like he was just the priest talks about it. <laughs> yeah, well, you still, used, he you did like you were just quoting an he, interview. He did an interview with today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, I don't want to try. You know, he's a good kid he's all around. Really I think uh, uh, no, I call him a saint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We talking about the priest talks about it. <laughs> well, I mean, the priest like wrote stuff down. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> he had he letters wrote, he sent to people. That like, Nick we've got kid. things. I like yeah, him a lot. Nicholas. Uh, so Nick, uh, he had a pretty big inheritance from his parents, though. And so when he became orphans, get the inheritance still. I mean, I guess. Um, well, I mean, I, I get they do now too. I guess at least in fourth century Greece. Uh, <laughs> what kind of inheritance? Uh, I don't know exactly the inheritance. How old but was, it was he? Pretty big. Um, I don't know what, how old he was. He was a child, like a young child when his parents died, got the inheritance when he became they were an adult. Like, this is your house now. And he was like, he was like, uh, cool. Can someone explain utilities to me <laughs> again? <laughs> I don't understand that in fourth century. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> North like, Carolina and what about taxes. I don't get the taxes right. thing. Okay, I get this. Makes so sense. They just take my money every year and they don't do anything. I that is understand. how <laughs> it's always worked. Yeah. <laughs> So 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 yeah, he gets the inheritance, but he was always kind of a, the kind of guy where he was just like humble and he didn't need nice things. Um, and so he always was kind of like, I don't need this inheritance. So he never really touched it. Okay, um, but there was this local family. Uh, the guy had three daughters, but he didn't have the money to marry them off. And in that culture, mm. the father had to put up the money to marry yep. them off. They got married and their life was good. Right. If they couldn't get married and the father couldn't put up the money to marry them off, then they would go into slavery. Um, that was kind of the two options for women in that day. And he thought that was wrong. He didn't like that um, and he knew he couldn't change the system. Saint Nick. Yeah, yeah. Nick. Well, he's not a saint yet. Yeah, uh, just Nicholas. Now he's just Nicholas. Just okay. Uh, so regular Nick <laughs> regular Nick. He he knew he couldn't do that and but he also knew it would be humiliating for the father if he just gave him a bunch of money yeah. to pay for his daughters. And so one night uh, he just snuck over to the house and tossed a bunch of gold in the chimney. Uh, so that way that one of the daughters could get married. And so that happened and <laughs> happenstance uh, they had a bunch of their socks hanging up to dry next to the chimney and the gold fell in the socks. No, no, I don't buy that. I don't <laughs> buy that part. I don't buy that. So what part. Were the next morning in no, their socks you're, like, you're telling me this guy's <laughs> shooting gold through the <laughs> chimney and hitting 10 out of 10. Nothing but sock. Well, or are no. you kidding me right now? I'm sure there was gold all over the floor too, but there's how some much in the gold? socks. How it, it was enough to marry her off um, and so then they started praying. Right, and he just marry one of them. <laughs> well, he's he's oh because the, the father has to put up the the father has to put up the money. And so he has to. I wish it was still like that. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the father basically had to buy. I'd like to marry your daughter. <laughs> pay me. <laughs> pay me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to marry your daughter. That'll be fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a, here's my invoice. You know, you can. I mean, I take. I don't take checks. It's 2021. Yeah, but you can cash at me. Uh, cash at. <laughs> I just scan my QR code yeah, here. There you go. Uh, so um, the daughter got married, and then uh, he started praying, and like at 
the the, 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 local the father church, the father's praying for the other daughters to be able to get he's married. like wow now, god please send more <laughs> please make it rain, please gold, down rain my gold coins yeah. down into my socks down my chimney uh, and so Nicholas does it again and again and pays for all three daughters to get married oh. um, by literally throwing money into the chimney while well, the third time he does it. He gets caught. Somebody is like hey, someone's what are you like, hey, what someone's are you doing? Like, hey, like, excuse me. <laughs> We're uh, we've heard about two instances of you throwing gold in the chimney. Uh, we're doing a true crime podcast uh, where we are. We're trying to figure out who's throwing the gold in the chimney, you know, and so uh, so we were just wondering if you'd be available for an interview yeah. real quick. Yeah, we can jump on an interview. Um, you're being recorded. You're being so recorded you know. right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just, and it's four hundreds, right? It's like, three hundreds. It's the three hundred. The fourth century. There's a guy over here with a stone tab. Just <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It'd be real hard to get this in everyone's RSS. Feed. Yeah, no, I knew I was being recorded. I can hear him a <laughs> mile away. You know, <laughs> a guy in a super suit jumps out and it's like mutual combat. And there's another guy over a different corner also chiseling. Who's like, and then he jumped out and said mutual combat, but the user V's and that's how you know it was the fourth century. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you right? Yeah, you know the, how they could the Phoenix Jones jumped out of the fire escape. No, 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 no. I was saying the U's are V's. You know how they couldn't oh, do. You get it now. You know how they couldn't do round. They couldn't edges. do U's. <laughs> they, so they they couldn't. They just didn't. V's were U's. You don't know that. Okay. So anyway, so Saint Nick. <laughs> the did first this. person who drew a U. They freaking paraded him around. Oh my gosh. So word got out that Saint Nick was throwing money down people's fire Got it. Chimneys, <laughs> fire chimneys. Everyone was like, everyone's walking by on town and they're like, they're li- they're opening their socks, <laughs> hopping on one leg, just like Hey, hey look at my sock. I mean, I mean <laughs> sure would hate if some gold fell in here, you know. <laughs> well, what happened is uh he would on his birthday every year. Uh, go around to all the kids and throw gold wherever kid he knew kids lived. Just throw gold in the chimney for the kids, um, uh, and so he was just a friendly dude who did that. The was kids would leave their shoes and their socks by the chimney to ho- in hopes of catching the gold in their socks. Which, I mean, <laughs> just pick it up. But it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to cat. <laughs> well, if it lands on the floor, it's bad luck for a year. It's bad gold. That's oh, that's floor gold. That's floor gold. We can't use that. That's how snobby everyone was in the three hundreds. They're like, oh, that's floor oh, that's gold. Floor gold. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, he, he, his legacy outlived him as being this dude who was just incredibly generous. Yeah, um, always giving stuff away. He ended up becoming a saint. Um, in the Greek Orthodox Church, and then uh, there was uh, the sixth of December became Saint Nicholas Day, uh, okay. and so they always would celebrate. Uh, and what people would do is they would give gold to their children yeah. in their socks under the fireplace every Saint Nicholas Day. Okay, so it was kind of a very oh, early, gold. yeah, very early precursor to. You know, it was really weird about that time is that sometimes people would get gold coins, and it would be like. <gasps> Why they flip it over and they go, "Are you disappointed?" <laughs> <laughs> On the back, it says, "Are you disappointed <laughs> that this isn't real gold?" I'll tell you what is real gold: Jesus Christ. Jesus <laughs> it's Christ. like all, you know those fake hundred dollar like, bills. Oh, this is fake gold. Mm. Um, so, uh, Martin Luther. This is <laughs> this is silly man's gold. They didn't know the word <laughs> fool yet. Uh, so uh, about a thousand years later, Martin Luther during the Reformation, yeah, is like everything Catholics got to go. That includes Saint Nicholas Day. That uh, was in the on his Reformation papers. Yeah, everything. Yeah, his ninety five theses, theses number ninety three. Get rid of Saint Nicholas Saint Day, Day. Out of here. Yeah, yeah. Replace it. Uh, and so he moved it uh, to Christmas on the twenty fifth. He of moved December. it. Yeah, he was like, he's like, we'll celebrate Christmas on the twenty fifth of December. When did they get? When did Christmas start being on twenty fifth of December? Well, we're gonna get there. I mean, we can jump into that right it's now. It's a different topic. It's relatively similar. It's I, 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 I was gonna cover it. Okay, okay, so, okay. Don't so, worry about it. Do your little lesson plan or whatever. <laughs> 
Well, this is perfect. It's a perfect chance to get a little pagan. Perfect, a perfect <laughs> pagan moment. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect pagan, pagan. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the perfect pagan. Uh, okay, so uh, he, he here's the deal. Uh, Everything Christian is stolen from pagan religion. Yeah, yeah, actually, very accurate. Because they um, were like, it's basically like how. Uh, Basically, Christians saw people doing stuff and they were like, that's Christian now. <laughs> and they were like, wait, what? And they're like, no, you can't listen to music, but you can listen to Christian music. Yeah. So basically, what happened was like, does anybody know what the Christian alternative to Christmas is? And the guy's like, yeah, I've actually got a poster over here to called Christmas. The Christian. <laughs> I've got the Christian. What's in the Christian alternative to Christmas? <laughs> well, actually, you'll be surprised. Uh, did so they call it Christmas before? They did. They did. Oh, um, and so uh, uh, this poster here, you'll see Cutlass is the Christian Slipknot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Slipknot. <laughs> Cri- That's as hard Christmas as it got. I thought Demon the Hunter. Christian Christmas. <laughs> uh, so anyway, third day is the Christian Nickelback. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> It's so anyways, so there was uh, a couple pagan religions. Uh Creed is the Christian Creed, I think, right? That isn't, isn't he Christian? With arms wide open. Have you or a loved one been diagnosed with too many advertisements during the Tillin podcast? <laughs> Have we got good news for you? Our patrons enjoy ad free experience and they get early access to content behind the scenes stuff exclusive merchandise and access to a private discord channel where we all are in it our producers and the hosts. So if you'd like to be a patron today and solve that problem, why don't you text Tillin to six six eight six six. You know, <laughs> Okay, That's so uh, about Jesus. some pagan holidays. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 some pagan holidays. <laughs> There's a couple of them uh, in December. In December, uh, when did the calendar the become a thing? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You should prepare Wait, for some of my questions. Tell time. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Uh, there was the the winter solstice was a thing yeah, for yeah, a long yeah. time, and so basically was there was this thing. holiday in the northern countries. Okay, uh, call them the Norse countries, as mm-hmm. for if you want to say north, but shorter, uh, Norse. <laughs> You're too lazy to say <laughs> north. <laughs> A bunch of the Norse Norse countries. Maybe it was Norse the whole time, and someone just had a lisp. <laughs> like, yeah, the North countries. The n- <laughs> that that <laughs> tracks. <laughs> We go by Norse. Oh, <laughs> uh, you do talk about Norse. Mm-hmm. So well, there's, we conquered you, so it's North now. Th- th- there was their midwinter event they called Yule, um, and so yep, where tide. you get Yule tide from. Okay. Um, and part of this was uh, the father and the son. They would go out in the woods and they would get what was called a Yule log, which was just a big log that they would light on fire all Christmas, um, well, all Yule Perfect. season, uh, so they could see because they were so far. It would north. last the whole time. Well, here's the thing. It was the winter solstice, and they were so far north that it, it was that time of year where it was just dark forever, like the sun didn't come up. Oh, that's right. And so it was a really weird season because they, for them, especially at that time of the world, you had the sun doesn't come up for months. It's super cold because it's the winter, um, and then also uh, you're very superstitious. <laughs> so, and everybody around <laughs> also you, you believe di- in ghosts. <laughs> everybody so. around you is dying from diseases. <laughs> It's super cold. Everyone around you is getting diseases or dying because they're super cold. Yeah, and the sun won't come out. And so that time of year, you're like, this is evil. There's yeah. evilness afoot, um, and it happens every year. Uh, and yeah. so they would light their logs on fire uh, and use that to fend off evil spirits. Uh, and then there was this idea that there was uh, these gods um, like Odin uh, mm-hmm. that were coming and um, protecting people or killing people. Um, <laughs> and and evidenced by here's the guy who died and here's the guy who lived. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. I was like, how do you know if it worked? <laughs> oh they, yeah, they died. Yeah, they lived. Interesting that everyone who did the right things got anyway. Uh, and so, uh, it, interesting uh, little sidebar. There was a cult of Mithra, uh, the cult of Mithra. Have you heard of that? Mm-mm. So there's a this. I think I've heard of Mithril. That's the same thing. Um, 
so this is a very interesting almost little side tangent. Okay. I don't know enough about it for us to go super deep into it, but there was a Iranian it was out in the dark. The Iranian God of the sun Mithra uh, okay. had a pretty big cult following um, and, and around the similar time of, of the year. Uh, what they would do is to uh, guarantee their survival through the winter basically and then ask and also ask for favor for the following year. They would go to the celebration where there was this giant idol of Mithra, um, which was the the God of the sun um, okay. and this God was honestly picture the fiery furnace from veggie tales. Yeah, uh, I'm with you <laughs> had a giant chest that just opened up and you threw your kids in there oh. and said um, were they sacrificing their kids? Yeah, they sacrificed their kids to this God to be like, here's what I want for this year or help me survive this winter. Um, here's my child. How many kids did people have back then? <laughs> Enough where you could throw some throw in. one away <laughs> for every year. <laughs> and then how do you decide which one? Uh, yeah, I mean, it probably worked a lot better than the coal for Christmas thing. Yeah, <laughs> be good or I'm throwing you in Mithras. This <laughs> winter. <laughs> well, we have high expectations as a family, <laughs> you know. Uh, here's what's really interesting about uh, Mithras uh, for this discussion. Two things: one, he wore a red hat with a little white poof ball at the end of it. Um, interesting poof ball, little poof ball. Okay. Uh, and two, uh, here's something uh, that so, so very very predated Christianity. Uh, yeah. But he, uh, this god Mithras, he was the god of the sun. Um, and his role in mythology and I'm shaky on the storyline, but whatever it was, he died for the sins of his followers and he rose again three days after. Um, okay, very odd. Anyways, that's all I know uh, while wearing a poof ball <laughs> wearing his poof ball hat uh, and people were and accepting child sacrifice in his <laughs> chest. <laughs> Give me your children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's darker <laughs> now. Of like, yeah, we go take our <laughs> annual pictures with Mithra. <laughs> and then I watched. I watched a one less kid every year. I watched a YouTube. I video. like the Mithra Bass Pro. He's more <laughs> realistic. <laughs> I watched a YouTube video actually where a guy was like raging about Santa. Um, he was very mad. You can tell the way he narrated it. Um, and he showed a bunch of pictures of kids like crying on Santa's lap. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, why do you think infants always hate Santa? Because they know. <laughs> they were like, he's like, he's like, they can sense the evil energy. Look at this mall from- Mithra. <laughs> <They> Look <laughs> at this mall <laughs> Mithra right now. <laughs> mall Mithra. You're gonna sacrifice your kid outside of <laughs> J.C. Penny. <laughs> uh, so. So they took okay. So, so there's a little bit of that. Norse mythology. They took some stuff from Mithras, uh, and, then and then they just chiseled it onto Saint Nick. Well, here's what happened. Uh, there became this uh, uh, teaching of <laughs> in Finland. Uh, there oh was a gosh. guy named <laughs> Yulu Puki. Uh, Yulu Puki. I believe that's how you say that. <laughs> Why Yulu do you Puki? sound like you're talking to a baby right now? <laughs> Yulu Puki. Here's the translation of that. Here's the translation. Oh no. Uh, Christmas goat. Uh, <laughs> oh heck yeah, dude. And that's what they called Santa, the Christmas goat. <laughs> well, and I don't really understand why, uh, but he's the Yulu Puki, uh, which is all I'm calling Santa from now. Is on. it a creepy looking goat? Uh, I don't think so. Let me pull up a picture. I imagine like the goat from no, whatever just, that honestly, witch movie was, where it's just like this is the Christmas goat. <laughs> and he's got, like red eyes, and it's like it's, he's. It's honestly he looks very similar to Santa. Okay. Um, he's just got a longer beard. Like he's still wearing all the same clothes. He's just got a longer, grayer beard. It's like if Gandalf and Santa were one person. Okay. Um, I've seen he, Santa's but he's like tall that. and thin. He's tall and thin, too. Also, so okay. Um, but uh, yeah. but he's called a goat. Yeah, because apparently he turns into a goat on Christmas. Um, I don't really understand. Yeah, but <laughs> it's a hard way to find out that you're the next one. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's the Tim you, Allen movie. <laughs> it's the Tim Allen movie <laughs> where one day he wakes up, but he looks in the mirror and he's and he's tired. You know, he wakes up. He's groggy. He's, he's waking up. He's shaving his little goat. <laughs> Beard, he's like, his little goatee. A, he's like, I normally don't, don't have a goatee. Weird. It's longer than normal. Yeah. I shaved yesterday. He's like, got a little burp, and he's like, <laughs> 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 right? he's like, that's not weird. 
goes downstairs, makes breakfast, throws the breakfast in the trash, eats the plate, right? <laughs> <laughs> and just biting random stuff, right? Gets in his car. He's like, well, hold on. <laughs> Like, because you can't sit. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to full. He's got full just extension. That's when he made. That's when he realized. That's when he realized. He goes, something's not right. He around sat down here. and his horn got stuck in that little handle in this car, and he's like, "Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, in the little fold the down. Little fold down yeah, handle. yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, uh, uh, what? That? That? <laughs> Still, never realizing what happens, gets all the way to work. Right? And he walks in, and someone's like, "You pookie." <laughs> He's like, quit talking to me like that. I'm a grown man. <laughs> then he sits down on his computer, tries to type. He got holes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I don't remember this being this difficult. How are you now realizing you're a goat, my guy? Oh my gosh. And then a little elf shows up. <laughs> and that's when he realized something was up. So over the next few years, um, and by next few years, I mean next couple hundred years. Yeah, uh, that's how time worked in history. <laughs> yeah, it was just like ah, you know, <laughs> some time. A few years. Uh, there was a Babylonian exile. Yeah, people were celebrating Saint Nicholas Day. Parents were giving gold and eventually just like toys to their kids. Yeah. on Saint Nicholas Day. Uh, Saint Nicholas is named, which has now been moved to December twenty fifth by Luther. Yeah, because he was like, he's like, we, we're not Catholic. Uh, <laughs> he's like, we're no. really not Catholic. <laughs> Um, and there was all these different names given to him based on the country they're in. So it was like yeah. basically translations. So you got Sinterklaas, uh, which was Saint Nick, mm-hmm. um, but in Dutch. Um, you had Yulu Puki, <laughs> which is Saint Nick, <laughs> but in goat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then obviously you had Saint Nicholas. Uh, you had Christ Child. Um, uh, let's see where, where there's another one around here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, but, but all these, all these the closest. Yeah, all these sounds really like close things that sounded like Santa Claus until eventually because history is just one giant game of real life telephone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Before the telephone <laughs> when the telephone came out, they're like, they hey, were this like, is, this just, is like just like history. <laughs> Uh, what did they call telephone before then? Because <laughs> you know that game's got to been around. I mean, no, I don't think it came out until Christmas. What? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, so, anyways, um, so uh, in eighteen twenty-three, um, there was an author uh, who also. Uh, he wrote a couple things. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, he wrote a couple really famous things. So it does kind of matter, but I'm not going to talk about them. Uh, what he did talk about what famous what he things did write he write? was the night before Christmas. Oh, uh, and uh, kind of night before brought Christmas, this story of Santa. House, yeah, showing up. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a Yuki Puli. You loop Okay. You loop I don't know what I said. <clears throat> Yuki Puli. <laughs> Uh, and so, um, uh, so, so this new story of a, yeah, hey, yes. Sorry, I just saw a really weird picture of a pretzel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Mid sentence, you just stop. <laughs> Your brain stops functioning for a second because, and then you follow it up with, "Sorry, I just, sorry, I just saw a really weird picture of a pretzel." Uh, Are we doing a Are we doing a podcast episode right now? This is the least professional thing I've ever heard. Let me see it. Is this gonna like, it, dude? If it's just a normal pretzel, I'm gonna be really annoyed. What? It, what? Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Hold Was on. Was it an advertisement? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? There it is. <laughs> this is a weird pretzel, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not weird enough for me to be like, hold on. Let me talk about this for a second. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. You gotta save that so Connor can put it in the video. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> did, 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 were you Google imaging something and that's what popped up? How did this? Okay, so here's what happened. Is that your search history? Did you search? <laughs> did you get on there and you searched Carlton biceps extra tab <laughs> weird pretzels? <laughs> So here's what was going on. Okay, let me explain this. I don't. I would love for you to. <laughs> so, uh, by 1845. Oh no no no! We're, I mean, you explain the weird I'm pretzel. I'm explaining it. I'm okay, explaining okay okay it. okay. Uh, a new name for Santa had arose uh, called Chris Kringle. Uh, oh okay. And the reason for that was, I think, a marketing campaign to sell pretzels because Kringle was another word for pretzels. Uh, <laughs> so they just tried to co-op and that was what the Kringles look like was that picture. I hadn't clicked on the Kringle. Wikipedia so the pretzel page guy yet. was like, well, he's, we know two things about our business, right? <laughs> we are a pretzel making company. Like, well, they call them Kringles. We are Kringle creators Kringle creators. Yeah, and we're not Catholic. Yeah, so <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we need a mascot that's definitively not Catholic. <laughs> And they're like, oh, what about that? So, like, what guy? about that uh, Yuli Puki? <laughs> like, we can work with that. We can work with that. What if? Uh, what if his name was Chris? Chris? And uh, he gave everybody pretzels, Kringles. Sorry, Chris Kringle. <laughs> Chris Kringle, better than Chris Pretzel. Rename our pretzels Kringles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's what happened. Okay. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that I hadn't so clicked that's on. That's how you got to. Yeah, okay, I hadn't okay, clicked okay, okay. on the Wikipedia page for Kringle yet. Picture of a strange and I saw the picture Kringle. of that really weird Kringle. It's it's a weird Kringle. Okay, a crazy Kringle. It's a crazy Kringle. Um. Anyways. Uh, all right, well, that makes sense then. <clears throat> yeah, we can cut it all out. So over the next like a uh, couple dozen years, Santa is taking a lot of different forms. He is. Uh, well, most people commonly, figure out that they can use that for marketing because then everyone's got a common myth. Yeah. Or a common legend. Yeah, there, common there are so many religions around the world that are celebrating. Who do you think is more popular, Bigfoot or Santa? <laughs> My guess I would say Santa, Santa, but uh, but also, yeah, maybe we should start a poll because because here's the thing: if you're over in another country that doesn't celebrate Christmas, you still know about Bigfoot. That's true. It's very weird to me that adults are like, no, yeah, I understand how Santa worked, but Bigfoot's real. <laughs> you know? I mean, do you not? Do I not think? So? Let's get off this. <laughs> all right, whatever. Okay, so so Santa, it, all these different. I'm just thinking they're common legends. Yeah. That people all over the world know. So then companies yeah. can start to figure out, like Kringle creators, Kringle yeah. companies, yes. can go. Everyone knows about this dude. Exactly, and so the holidays, so all, all these holidays had him. But everybody who would depict this Chris Kringle or Saint depict. Nick character would depict him differently. It was almost always an older guy with a really big beard. Uh, yeah. But sometimes he was tall and thin. Sometimes he was short and stumpy. Uh, but honestly, if you think about it, that's all you need to identify a Santa Claus now. <laughs> is a, a big white beard. Yeah, that's kind of it. A large man and a red suit. No, you don't even need the red suit. Well, back then they didn't have the red suit either. A lot of times it was green. Sometimes it was red, um, but it, the poofy hat was always a feature and okay. the like and the the almost weird bathrobe thing was always a feature like a cloak. Yeah, yes, yes, um, and he rode a sleigh, which is something Saint Nick actually did. He rode a sleigh around um, and he had uh, a couple dogs that pulled him in the sleigh. Um, what? Which I guess was like a normal form of transport. Oh, okay. Before cars. Now <laughs> <laughs> here, just on my sleigh. Which also fucking gold. There was a uh, a, a pagan myth. I forgot about this. There was a pagan myth that apparently there's a fresco somewhere um, uh, where uh, a, sa- a similar Santa, like adjacent figure in a pagan myth. I don't know which one it was, but one of those earlier ones, like the Yuli Buki. Um, okay. Uh, there's a myth where he gets pulled um, by snakes with wings in his sleigh. Okay, well, that was not <laughs> the direction I was prepared for you to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah, okay. So, picture this: an old man, picture this, big Santa beard, Claus, right? Big beard, sleigh throws gold in people's chimneys, makes it in their socks every time. Also, pulled also. on a sleigh. I'm like, yeah, I'm tracking with you. I'm, I see where okay. you're going with this. By Snakes with wings. Yeah, winged snakes. Winged, sn- winged, winged snakes. Uh, yes, yes. So I, I don't know. I can't remember which one that, which myth that is, but it's some myth uh, with this ancient god that gets pulled on the sleigh. Okay. Sleigh is pulled by 
winged snakes, which is very fun. You um, know Dancer but since some people Dancer theory, think that Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> some people think that that's where that came from is because they, they were flying snakes that were dragging him in a sleigh. So some people are like that flying. eventually morphed into flying reindeer because they were easier to stomach. Than yeah, snakes. yeah, yeah. And that's how evolution works too. <laughs> It's Everybody like knows snakes sprouted reindeer legs. Reindeer came from snakes. You get it, yeah. Every reindeer starts as a little <laughs> tiny snake. That's why they lay eggs. That's oh what? <laughs> uh, so 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 Santa over the late eighteen hundreds looked like a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, when does he get defined? <clears throat> well, in the probably about the eighteen nineties, he starts showing up at shopping. That is malls. not that long ago. No, no. Okay. In the eighteen nineties, he starts showing up at shopping malls um, with. Guess what? Uh, flying snakes. No, <laughs> no. Weird pretzels. No, no. Uh, close. Both, both uh, fiery close. cauldron to sacrifice children. What are you? What are you talking <laughs> both, about? Both, all of these guesses. Very, very close with reindeer. No, uh, the Salvation Army. Uh, so he uh, was the bell guy. Santa became the bell guy. This makes sense. Um, okay. Uh, in, in the 1890s outside Cause didn't Moss. the bell guys even up until recently weren't they? Didn't they have to dress like Santa Claus? I don't know if they dress like Santa or if they just dressed in red Christmas stuff. Maybe they did dress like Santa. I don't know. I feel like I guess when I was a kid, Santas. I feel yeah, like when I was a kid, Santas. they were Santas. Had they? Uh, and yeah. now, and then someone was like, "I care about this, but not that much," <laughs> you know. And so all of a sudden, they That's were like, true. "All right, they don't dress well, like Santa." Hey, anymore. would you stand up there for a couple hours and ring this bell? Is this a Mandela effect? Stop? Hey, do you remember this, Alex? Did they have to dress like Santa's? Santa's? Yeah, I think this is a Mandela I, effect. I don't think it's a Mandela effect. I think I it's think just <laughs> fact. I think they just changed <laughs> they it over just time. Stopped. Just because they they had something All that they the used to exist. Were like, I'm not it's wearing like that. it's not a Mandela effect to go, oh yeah, remember when Shrek something was changed. remember when the Shrek movies came out? <laughs> And new and, Mandela effect. and Heinz had green ketchup. <laughs> Do you remember that? And all of us are just like, yeah, there's no one They're in this right group. Now. No one Mandela in this group effect. right now is like, no, no one in this group is like, you're making that up. You know, I remember them dressed as flying snakes. Not a single person. <laughs> it's not a Mandela effect. If it was, if it happened, all right, whatever. So uh, Santa was out there collecting money. Um, which is a, a you know what I remember. Shift. I remember your name being TJ before, and you're telling me your name is Tim <laughs> this whole time. New man, that's, Ma- that's a Mandela <laughs> effect right there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Santa's used to be the Salvation Army people, which makes sense because they've they co-opted that. Yeah, well, it's ironic because because Santa. Hey, look, you know how Santa, Santa gives back to people. What if you gave to us? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they're like yeah. they're like yeah. Saint, Saint Nick threw money at other people. What if you throw money at him now? Um, so uh, Santa became the Saint Nick guy, and then what they noticed was, hey, all the kids are coming to the shopping malls in the Christmas season to and trying to Santa. take, yeah, to see Santa. And uh, so they were, were they like, taking pictures back. Yeah, then? they were taking. They were trying to take pictures. <laughs> all these families are showing up, and they got <laughs> and that the, guy with the hood out there. Well, just, they got a. They're bringing a canvas. They got a guy painting them. <laughs> Hey, we're excited to partner with a new app called Wisdom, and it's all about learning from experts and mentors. Uh, and that's why you're here listening to this episode is because we are your mentors. <laughs> so, uh, if you like learning random stuff from us uh, and have enjoyed what we do, please join us January fourth at two p.m. Central Time uh, to join us in our first live session where you can interact, ask questions. We also have a really special announcement we're making exclusively on the Wisdom app. So. Download that app. Join us January fourth at two p.m. Central uh, for that special announcement, and also uh, maybe learn some stuff. So, thanks. Family portraits, <laughs> and they're like Santa, stop smiling. <laughs> and in the painting, they're putting the Salvation Army little can <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like, can you quit moving your arm for a second yeah. so we can get a good you need to stop? And he's just it. like, I'm supposed to I'm ding supposed ding to be ding. ringing. He's like, you're actually not supposed to stand by me this long. <laughs> 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 it's freaking everybody out. <laughs> he's like, can you guys leave soon? <laughs> so they uh, so they Maybe that's how ventriloquists started too, <laughs> is because they were smiling for a portrait for maker, a portrait. right? And they were just yeah, like, like, I'm getting really good at. I'm getting really good at talking and not moving my face for. Well, I'm getting really good at talking and not moving my face for these pictures. Yeah, and the guy's like, Dude. I can tell that's you. What? 
What are you talking about? Well, what if I had a puppet? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what about this, huh? <laughs> So, uh, so they started bringing Santa's inside to meet the kids. Yeah. And so the kids could give them give Santa a letter and say, "Hey, this is what I want. This is what I want for Christmas." Um, and then all of a sudden, things just went from here's some guy who gives some gifts sometimes to Santa. He lives in the North Pole and he has an army. And of, he brings all of your gifts. Yeah, he's an army of the elves and he travels the planet. Yeah, in how, one night. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. For that to not even be like for that to be 1890. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then the night the 1900s really took that story. Yeah, it erupted. And it erupted. I mean, it's like when 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 you know what happened though. What is that? Little children are annoying, and they always ask the question why. And so parents were just like, I, yeah, uh, he like Santa brings us gifts. Why? I don't know. It's well, he loves it. That's it brings him life. Why? Because he loves seeing kids happy. Why? I don't. I. I. I don't know. Where does he get the gifts? Elves. Elves. <laughs> Why? There. There's a lot of them in the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, and they all work for him. Why? I don't know. Do they American have a choice? Dream. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do elves have a choice? I don't know. No, I don't know. doesn't seem like it. it. They're born. They work in the workshop. They die. All right. That's how that works how for does, generations. My grandfather it? worked in this workshop. <laughs> I worked in this workshop. My kids work in this workshop. There's no life outside of this workshop. Is Santa unethical? Sure. <laughs> you know, do we get paid in housing? But it's cold. Drops. Housing and gum drops. Yeah. <laughs> housing made of gun drops. <laughs> Every once in a while, gold falls down our chimneys. Our yeah, gum drops. We get all the floor gold. It's <laughs> it's literally chocolate gold. It's wrapper. Disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> work harder. Right. And oh also God. make more toys. What do you think happens up. to the well, here's what it is? What happens to the kids that we sacrifice in the furnace? <laughs> <laughs> they were reborn in the North Pole to make toys for kids in the future. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, dude. <laughs> So in and to think we're trying to colonize the moon. We could colonize the North <laughs> North Pole and save those elves. So in uh, uh, the nineteen fifteen. When were you born? I was born in the 1994. <laughs> in the 1915. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so in the 1915, what happened? In the 1915, uh, White Rock Beverages uh, were trying to sell mineral water. Okay. So they said, hey, uh, let's get Santa. Uh, to sell our mineral water uh, <laughs> and they dressed him in a red and white suit to sell the mineral water and they said, hey, this worked great. Let's have him sell our ginger ale mm. and that worked really good. So Pepsi was like, hey, we can do that too. Pepsi was like, we like what you did with mineral water. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So in the uh, in the 40s and 50s, they ran uh, a uh, an ad campaign for with Santa drinking Pepsi. Uh, really? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then I was Coca say, Cola said, "Which beverage do you associate with Santa?" Yeah, Claus? and then Coca Cola was like, "Wait, we're the red brand." Coca Cola <laughs> was like, "You." Never mind. <laughs> Coca Cola was like, "We're the red." We're brand. the ones with cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be our thing? So they just kind of took them, and they started, and they, they took just, Santa Claus. They just took Santa Claus, and they they outmarketed everybody else. And they well, were yeah, like, we are. Well, I mean, the everyone Santa uses brand. Santa. I mean, and, and the the philosophy for it, though, even back to uh, the White Rock Beverage Co., they said people don't drink our drinks in the winter. They said they're getting hot cocoa and they're getting yeah. coffee drinks. They're getting warm drinks. Like we need people to. Understand we need people to know though. They could heat up Pepsi. <laughs> Nothing better than a hot Santa Pepsi. loves hot <laughs> Pepsi. I need a nice hot Pepsi <laughs> with whipped cream on top. 
Hot Pepsi, get your hot Pepsi. He makes us live in houses of gumdrops, and we only get hot Pepsi. <laughs> Here's your steamed Pepsi, frothed Pepsi, <laughs> boiling. It's like a cauldron of Pepsi. Just here you go. Thanks. Please, no more Pepsi. But if you boil it, it, it becomes that weird black liquid, yes. right? Very, very. <laughs> very they were like, chunk. "Oh shoot, people are heating up our product. <laughs> Let's probably get rid of that." You know, don't heat it up. Don't worry about. It. Yeah, don't worry about what happens when it's hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Coca Cola. Yeah, they were like in the winter time. We want people to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coca Cola that. was like, yeah, we want that too. And they're like, let's throw more money at this than everyone else until everyone thinks we came up with this. Yeah, and it worked. Hey guys, great idea. Well, didn't I see a Pepsi commercial? I will literally pay you to never say that again. <laughs> they said, what's your dollar amount? <laughs> How much sign this NDA? I'll marry your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll marry all three of your daughters. Wait, did you say we yes, the company the Coca Cola, company, the Coca -Cola. Will marry? Yeah. What's your daughter's name? Mary. She'll be Mary Coca Cola. And you will pay us to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that'll be sixty thousand dollars. Mary Coca Cola. <laughs> You're gonna marry Mary. Yeah, Mary is getting married to Coca Cola. Kay. This is Mr. and Mrs. Mary Coca Cola. <laughs> hey, <what>? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Mary is also Coca Cola's first name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> anyways. So Mary and Mary got people, married. A lot of people think that. Santa became red because of Coca Cola, but it was actually that White Rock Beverage Co. They they turned a red. lot of people like Santa was always wearing different clothes. Yeah, like, but they, they defined it. They as defined it red. They were like, we need to pick something, um, and they picked red. And then Pepsi stole it, and then Coca Cola stole it, um, and Coca Cola put more money towards it than anyone else. Isn't that the way it works? Um, and this era, the 20th century, is the era that it really took off for I think a couple reasons. One, capitalism. Uh, <laughs> and consumerism. I really do. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. like you you can define an image. Yeah. Well, I, I think the biggest thing was the whole holiday kind of revolved around this idea of there's a generous person who's giving gifts to kids. Okay. And so everybody for years was like, I'm gonna get something nice for my kids at Christmas time. Right. And capitalism and consumerism said. Buy everything. Yeah. You have to buy this for <laughs> yeah, your kids. Go into lots of debt. Every year, um, and they just burn your kids with hot Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Wake them up with a pot of Coca Cola, in and the morning. that's the pagan connection to Mithras. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we just throw them into the cauldron of Coca Cola. Yeah, the Coca Cola cauldron. Uh, so, uh, and it just exploded. It was such an opportunity for marketers to just mm. kind of steal this and make all these campaigns. For yeah, for sure. Year. And it, they still do it. Uh, and still here. Yeah, deal. Santa's driving a Lincoln. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so all these all these companies kind of started to dictate this mythology of this character mm. as they created their ad campaigns. Um, and so he started drinking milk and cookies. He started drinking Coca Cola, uh, all this different stuff. And then you had uh, film. And so now all of a sudden oh, movies right. started coming out. Yeah. And now all these new interpretations of Santa that had never existed started coming out. Like in things like <laughs> Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. This is way later, but still, all these different theatrical filmed uh, things versions of Santa yeah. started coming out and influencing the culture. And like each film was kind of picking and choosing thing, things from the previous one. So eventually, like you get to the 50s or 60s, you have this full on storyline of who Santa is and what he does, and even Mrs. Claus and what she does. Um, and the flying snakes didn't make it in any of the marketing meetings. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, I think we need to bring the snakes back. And they were like, I don't know. Just mm -hmm. give them the same names. That was the snakes names. You know, what I don't like is that the Santa Claus series turned Jack Frost it in the even in the not claymation, but the the what, Tim Allen. No animated. What's what are the like the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and like Frosty the Snowman like those cartoons? Yeah, claymation. You got it. Right those weren't claymation. Those, those were not claymation. claymation. Those were claymation, claymation is different. Yeah, those were a hundred percent claymation. Those were not claymation. Anyway, they make Jack Frost like a like a, a villain <coughs> and mm -hmm. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So all those got to kind of dictate the story of who Santa was. Sure. And consumerism really played one of the biggest parts. And now it's it's to the thing where it's like it's kind of its own monster. Like it did it did kind of form in really two parts two half part pagan 
Pagany. Sure. Uh, half part. It's pretty wild to me how quick things can like in the 1890s, the Salvation Army picks up this Santa Claus character. Yeah, and then now we have full backstories. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it wasn't really just that one thing like over so yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, but I'm changing. saying like over so much time and then for it to accelerate <laughs> the way that it did. Yeah, and I mean that is honestly that that is kind of that's American, you know, I mean revolution that's the, right there. That, yeah, that's the 20th century. Yeah, like everything, everything did that accelerated so fast and especially with consumerism and marketing and capitalism like things just moved really quick because the quicker you could define something as something marketable the quicker you make a lot of money off of it. Yeah, things move so fast like technology and COVID cases and all that, you know, like <laughs> things just accelerate cars. <laughs> What are we? We're already on cars three, <laughs> cars four. Where are we? What are we on? The series. It was so fast. I feel like just yesterday the first one came out. Honestly, how though, old is Owen? Honestly, though, <laughs> cars as a series, they took their time with cars two. Now, cars three was just garbage, but between cars one and cars two, <laughs> there was a good six year gap there. You know, mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. didn't pump one out the next year. Yeah, yeah, uh, like trolls the movie mm-hmm. anyway. Go ahead. Uh, so yeah, so so Santa became this became what he is today. He became a part of the, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to to usher in the Christmas se- season. Um, a guy actually just asked if he could do that. He was like, hey, could I dress up like Santa? Can I be parade? Santa Claus? Yeah, that's a little they were like who <laughs> uh, he's sorry. like, he's like, well, <laughs> you leave <Pookie. laughs> It's kind of hard to explain. I'm not going to do the whole furnace thing, <laughs> but like it'd be fun. Yeah, have you guys ever drank hot Pepsi before you guys like uh, let's talk about it over some hot Pepsi <laughs> uh, so anyways, who's got hot Pepsi <clears throat> and now it's I mean he, here's the thing. Oh, you hear a lot of people talk about uh, Santa and Christmas and honestly a lot of different things and be sure. Like, Oh, that's pagan. Uh, that's too pagany for me. Um, Nothing's too pagany for us. Here's the thing. It's also Christian, like, and it's also all these other things. It's sure, also Coca-Cola. Yeah, it's also Coca-Cola. It's also it's also the Salvation Army. It's also it, mineral water. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all these different things. Nobody owns Santa Claus. Yeah, all these different things kind of uh, melded together and got mixed it's together to create what it is now. This isn't you. Oh my gosh. If you really look at yourself deep down, there's a Santa Claus inside you in all of us. You know, some metaphorically orphaned person who has a rich inheritance that you're supposed to give to other people around you. So take that joy you got inside and stuff it in your neighbor's socks. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying so hard. Stuff it in your neighbor's (laughs) socks. I was trying. Dang it! I. Uh, My point is, a lot of people are like, "We we can't celebrate Christmas because it's got pagan backgrounds. We can't celebrate Halloween because it's got pagan backgrounds." Here's the thing. Let me tell you, the way church services are organized today is pagany. Literally, uh, Constantine borrowed. Everything. You know how mad Tim's getting right now. About everything. Well, from pagan let me ritual. tell you this. Okay, here's my here's my thing. Parents are like, you can't watch Harry Potter. It's pagan. Yeah, well, so is Lord of the Rings. So is your Coca Cola, mom. <laughs> Have you ever heated that thing up? Yeah, you know, it, Christ, Christian moms love to harp on Santa, but they're chugging Diet Coke. Here's the thing. My point is really just, yeah, it's pagany, but it's also. Uh, Christian. It's also a lot of other things you can't and and at the end of the day, it's you you get to celebrating some people Christmas. still think he's a goat like you can decide <laughs> what you want to believe yeah, about Santa exactly. Claus. Exactly. Celebrating Christmas is not celebrating a pagan holiday like you're deciding how you're celebrating that what you want to do with that. You can't accidentally be a pagan. You can't accidentally worship mm, the devil. Interesting. Uh, it's it's not it's not an accidental like oh I don't want to do that because I don't want to. You're thinking it's the, the heart posture and the intention matter. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> uh, so it well the it, same is true. You can't just do nice things, but if you're doing it to be seen as a nice person, that's not a nice thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, 
Wow, look at you. You really youth pastored this whole episode, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I you really just, turned it into a guys. What's inside matters and what's inside you is a Santa Claus. Well, anyways, there's a lot of controversy about Santa because it's lying to your kids their whole life um, and then uh, there's actually a lot oh of yeah, there's a lot of parents who don't do it because they're like, well, if they find out we lied about Santa and the Easter Bunny, they're going to think we lied about Jesus. Yeah, there's also a lot of parents who are like, well, if well, if I'm going <laughs> to buy all these presents, I want credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then there's other parents who are like, "Listen, let's just get in the car right now. We're gonna drive down to Georgia and have a fiddle off with Santa." And they're like, "No, it's, I think it's I think it's, I think it's Satan. Satan, but you can't prove it's not." Hey, thanks for watching Things I Learned Last Night. If you like this episode, you can watch more right here or you can watch some highlights. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It helps us out a lot. Also, leave a comment below and we'll see you next week.